as you no doubt may have guessed, I bought an IS300. But before I talk about that, I figure I like to ramble. <laughs> We've got a lot of complaints on that 10 years ago making YouTube videos. People were like, we don't care. I'm like, well, I thought it was relevant. Sorry for trying to help. I figure if I start a vlog series, and I really don't like saying that word, vlog just sounds so weird, but uh, I figure I'll start a, a vlog series and uh, talk about different things that I'm working on. Use this as a forum for people to ask questions and I can see what they're interested in based on what I have in the garage, to which this video is just going to be like a walk around of the different projects that I have going on right now, different future projects that I have in mind, just to see what people want me to do videos on. So I'll put things down in the comment section below, just to, you know, what do you, what do you want to see in, like, in the garage that, uh, the things that I just kind of go over today that um, you want to see me make, me make more videos on. I did put a PayPal link. If you go to the YouTube dashboard, it has a little PayPal link thing. And uh, yeah, so if any of my videos have helped you out at all, then yeah, please, uh, uh, buy me a coffee. I will have a, a little intro video coming up on the IS300, which since I sold my S2000 five years ago, I still randomly call this the S2000 because between the IS300 and the S2000 names, they both share an S and two zeros. Yeah, anyway, the basics on this, I'll, I'll walk around it while I'm talking about it. So factory manual transmission, I've been looking for one of these for 15 years easily. I didn't paint it purple, the previous owner did. Um, it's got a factory 3.7 LSD. It wants to run sometimes, it doesn't want to run other times. It's got a slipping clutch. It's been turbocharged by the previous owner. It dies randomly, I think because it's either the um, crank angle or the cam sensor, one of the two. Like in addition to the throttle body being funky because the IS300s have this funky throttle body setup which is like a partially electronic partially cable so I don't want to deal with that I will be talking about the 2JZ GTE parts that I will be putting on I'll be completely swapping out the head and putting on a GTE head I'll be talking about that later in the video looking at this like I, I really wouldn't have gone with a dark purple if it were my idea to paint this it actually looks pretty good and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it the few times that I've driven it that it's <laughs> successfully driven somewhere this bumper is not a USDM uh, IS300 bumper it's actually an Alteza bumper but more specifically it's called a Gita bumper G-I-T-A and it comes factory on the Alteza Sport Cross so the Alteza um, wagon pretty much it's just called an Alteza Gita I didn't know that until I met up with somebody on Facebook marketplace to sell him one of the parts that came with it it basically came with a bunch of bunch of performance parts in the trunk that the guy bought that you know like a couple extra turbos cheap eBay turbos like two like three hundred dollars new they're good for like 400 500 horsepower but it's not something that I'm planning on putting this because I'm going to build up the engine. It's Right now it's got a ton of oil leaks, the clutch slips. It dies randomly because of one, there's an issue with the throttle body, there's problems with that, and two, it's either the crank sensor or the cam sensor. I haven't pulled the engine codes to, to see. Um, I haven't connected my scanner to it, but basically it dies and then it, it starts back a little bit later. It's turbocharged, it's running eight pounds of boost. I got it for $3,000. I've sold $1,000 worth of parts already, and that's going to be the future um, YouTube video project thing. After I finish FJ Cruiser stuff, because right now I am, so I'm changing out my, um, this is my old throwout bearing. I'm putting in a Clutch Masters, a Clutch Masters internal hydraulic slave. Um, so there's my old slave cylinder. This is the old clutch hard line that went from the front of the transmission to the back of the transmission. This is the accumulator that Toyota decided for some reason to put into the clutch system setup when you don't even really need it. I don't know why they put that in there. And then this is the old clutch fork. All that stuff is replaced by the Clutch Masters internal um, hydraulic. So um, right now I'm held up because I I ordered. I ordered a, a clutch, I figure since I'm changing out the throwout bearing, I'm going to change out the clutch. This is supposed to be Isen uh, pressure plate, Isen clutch disc, and then I forget what the what the flywheel was supposed to be. This was also supposed to be an Isen 
uh, replacement throw out bearing, which I don't care. I'm just going to throw that on eBay and then sell it to whoever buys it. Or if somebody watching this wants it, let me know and I'll, I'll sell it to you. This isn't Ison. This is like, I don't know, All Clutch Systems brand or something like that. It says All Clutch Systems on it and then the number that's on it, I ran the number and it's just the only site that comes up. It says like a wedding ring website in Japan. So 16079CB6. But comparing this to the factory Toyota clutch disc, this has six springs and this is 10 and 3 eighths. This has four bigger springs and it's 10 and 7 eighths. So the, uh, the flywheel was fine when I compared it and I put that on the engine. But then when I compared the clutch discs, I noticed that they're not the same. So this is the Exidy pressure plate. I've already contacted the Amazon seller and I'm waiting on them to respond back. But I can crawl under the FJ Cruiser and show the inside. I'm, I'm making, I'm in the process of making a video on this actually. But there's the uh, the Clutchmaster's internal hydraulic setup. Uh, one thing I don't like is it, it didn't come with a way to uh, to hold the steel braided lines still inside the transmission. So I just I, I talk about that in the video, but. I basically rigged up a way. After taking off the accumulator, it frees up a bolt hole that goes into the bell housing. So, I could, um, I could uh, use that bolt hole, but bolt something in from the inside of the transmission versus the outside. And now it's holding the, uh, those little line clamps that pretty much keep the steel braided line away from the spinning clutch pressure plate. I talk about that in that video. I'm still videoing that right now once I'm able to finish the project when I have the right parts. I, I didn't even have to change out the clutch. This one's 150,000 miles. It says Toyota on it and all of the records that I have say that the clutch in this was never changed out. So as far as I know, that's still the original clutch and the original throwout bearing because I don't have any maintenance records showing that the previous owner um, had that changed. So, yeah. Um, I didn't have to change out the clutch though. It's 150,000 miles, it's still going fine. I don't know how much life I had left in it, but I could have, I could probably put that back in. But I'm already at this point, why not? Anyway, so IS300. Whenever I rebuild the engine on that, the oil, all the oil leaks and whatever, that it's gonna, it's gonna be fully refreshed. I'm also swapping out the head, and I'll be putting, this is a VVTi JDM, 2JZ GTE. But I am sorry if you clicked on this video thinking that I would be putting this engine into this vehicle, because that's not going to happen. Um, it is not something that I am even remotely interested in. We can make a follow-on video log talking about that. Um, and me explaining in detail everything that would be involved in putting this engine into here. Um, and then all the cost stuff associated with pretty much building up the IS300 regular GE grandma engine and turning it into a GTE engine that is powerful. Otherwise you're swapping a, a, a lame engine into you know, just to say that you have a 2JZ in your FJ Cruiser, it's, it, it's pointless. This is not going in the FJ Cruiser. I can make a video talking about that and like another video log, but let me know in the comments down below if that's even something that you guys want to hear about. So this one is actually from the Aristo. When I got this engine, I actually thought that the 97 to 99 JDM Supras came with the VVTi. I've just believed that for like 20 years. I've been telling people that for a long time. Turns out that the JDM Supras never came with VVTi. Um, the Aristo, which is it's what the, the Toyota Aristo is called um, in the U.S. is a Lexus GS300. That's what this engine is from. So this is just the head with these are the this is the coolant tubes. That's the water pump pulley. That's the that's the water pump actually for the Supra, but I think it's the same for the Aristo. And then that's the oil pump that replaces because that's a higher flowing oil pump that's for the 2JZ GTE. This head gasket is for. 3S GTE, it's actually not even, um, whenever I flip the head over, I want to look and see the difference between 3S GTE, which is this head gasket, 86 millimeter pistons, this also, the 2JZ GTE also has 86 millimeter pistons. I've heard so many people say that the 2JZ is really just a 3S GTE with two more cylinders. 
I disagree with that, but I do want to see um, how this head gasket looks on the bottom of the uh, the 2JZ, 2JZ GTE, if there's the, uh, the same cylinder spacing. So, um, also, that head is going on this block. And yes, I am very familiar that this engine does not have oil squirters. I could care less about oil squirters. I don't want to cool down my pistons. Um, I'm expecting to pull about eight, 900 horsepower out of this after I finish the build. So I don't want my pistons to be cooled down, really. Um, and the oil will have a tendency to do that. People go back and forth. You can have your opinion on that. I have my opinion on that. Yeah. Um, the factory pistons did need uh, the, they did need to be cooled pretty much, but you can buy pistons now that don't. Reasons I haven't made a video in like a year, so this is all house stuff. This is uh, like stone that's going on the side. That's actually quartz uh, ledge stone that's going on the, at the side of the house. So I've been doing that slowly here and there, and I kind of was forced to do a lot of it because um, I decided to go with solar on the house, and when I decided to do it, uh, when I decided to go that way, um, <laughs> the solar batteries were going to cover a section of the house that didn't have the ledge stone on it yet, so I pretty much had to put stone on that side of the house so that they could put the batteries over the stone. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but uh, yeah, that's been holding me up from from making videos. I still have the all aluminum radiator uh, that I will be putting in this. I'm making a video on that, and I still have my backup camera stuff. So these are uh, the front camera, rear camera, and then I, I actually got this like twisted pair RCA cable, which is like a good signal cable to go from the back up to the front of the FJ Cruiser and just get like a clear video. These are um, these are actually upgraded brake levers for the motorcycle, not FJ Cruiser stuff. But uh, this is Brembo's RCS or ratio click system, and it's basically like you you switch a lever and it changes the it, you switch like a little thing and it changes the uh, the pivot point of the lever so that you have um, like a firm pull or a long pull um, brake or a clutch so I have the I think I forget I, I, I didn't even look at that one that closely I think that might have been the clutch one and that's the brake one uh, I'm going to do a video on putting these in an 07 base model because Supposedly the electrical connector is there, I just have to cut a hole in the dash, and I made a template on that brown piece of paper that's underneath the gauges. I made a little template of what the FJ Cruiser that those gauges came out of, what that uh, hole in the dash looks like. And uh, I actually told a friend of mine that, he's probably watching this video too, I told him that whenever I, uh, whenever I cut that spot out of the dash that I'll give him the plastic piece, and I'm sorry I haven't... <laughs> I haven't cut it out of the dash yet. I'm still busy doing things, and yeah, now I'm working on the FA Cruiser, and it's, there's been so many setbacks with that between tight bolts, and I had to fix my dryer, and just a bunch of things. So um, while that's been down, I've been driving, I've been riding the bike or driving the IS300, but it really, it's been dying on me a lot. So yeah, so that's. Uh, that's that's it so yeah the things that have been holding me back for the past year have just been like house stuff I do still plan on making videos a lot of 2JZ videos um, while I'm building that and then I'll be making a video inspecting this engine because it has a, it's, has a lot of oil leaks it's had them for a while and I don't know how bad that's damaged the internals of the head so I want to inspect that really well and I'm gonna make a video pretty much inspecting that while um, while I have it apart. And I'm putting it together and mixing it with the, uh, the Aristo parts. I have my hands full pretty much between house stuff, things breaking, uh, house stuff that I'm upgrading, IS 300 trying to hold that together, motorcycle stuff, upgrades that are coming, FJ Cruiser <laughs> breaking on me when I'm wanting to rip apart 2JZ. Somebody actually gave me a RAV4 that's uh, two of the head bolts pulled out of the block. Um, it overheated. It's a design flaw in the earlier model second gen RAV4s. So it overheated. The uh, head bolts pulled out of the block and basically I just have to pull the head off, put 
put a helicoil in the block and then bolt the head back down, have it resurfaced and everything. And it should be good, but it's going to be a lot of work. And I don't know when I'm going to have the time to actually work on it because really I want to do this first. But I'm probably going to end up working on the RAV4 first. Yeah, that's it though. This is my first little video log thing. Um, not good at these, but I am good at rambling. So leave comments down below on what things you would like to see videos on of the things that you saw in the garage or maybe something you saw in the background that you want me to talk about I don't I don't know just throw stuff down in the comments and uh, I'll, I'll go there with the next video log that's it thanks a lot for watching make sure you like subscribe comment um, yeah thanks a lot for everybody that's been continuing to watch my videos and if you've made it through successfully to the end of my rambling then uh, congratulations congratulations um, God bless you guys.